Hello, welcome to Like Nani. Hope you have watched the previous video on uh, solving examples on Python. So here I am creating a lot of ex solved access on Python list so that it will be more useful for your uh, software industry point of view to get uh, good software jobs. So in this tutorial, in this video, I am going to explain Python program to count positive and negative numbers in the given list. So here I am going to explain how to find the positive numbers and negative numbers in the given list. Suppose if you take an example. Suppose I have a list L. L is equal to I have some numbers 2, minus 7, 5, 64, and uh, minus 35 so in this in this list how many positive numbers are there one two how many negative how this is one these are the two negative numbers how many positive numbers are there one two three so number of positive numbers is equal to three number of negative negative numbers is equal to two so totally five elements now this count I want from the list. So how do, you, how do we solve the problem? There are different ways of solving the problem. First of all, here I am writing one solution. Here I, am, here I have taken list L is equal to L is equal to 10 minus 21 4 35 minus 66 1 minus 93 92 so these are the values in the list here I am taking initially P comma C is equal to 0 comma 0 or you can call it as P comma N P for positive N for negative here I have taken two variables and in those two variables I have stored two values 0 and 0 that means Positive and negative values are stored with zeros. Now, simply I use for loop for i in L, for i in L. Here I will check if i, if i is greater than or equal to 0. What I will say if i is greater than or equal to 0, that means it is a positive. So, p is equal to p plus 1. p plus 1 else else if it is not there then are equal to 0 then means it is a negative number so negative number is equal to negative plus 1 negative plus 1 now now you can print print positive numbers in the given list positive numbers in the given list is equal to p similarly negative numbers in the given list given list is equal to n is equal to n so here I have taken list and I am printing the number of positive numbers and negative numbers so if you go the explanation of the code if you see the explanation of the code here how many positive numbers are there 1 2 3 4 so now you can see Number of positive numbers. Positive numbers in the given list is equal to 4. How many negative numbers are there? Minus 21, minus 66, minus 99. So these are the negative numbers. Okay. So now I will explain. Here I have taken P comma N is equal to 0, 0. Here I have taken initially the number of positive numbers is equal to 0. 
then number of negative numbers is equal to 0. This is P for positive and for negative. Now, for I in L, for each value of I, here, for each value of I, here P is equal to 0, N is equal to 0. For each, what is the first value of I? I value will be 10. Here, come here. If 10 is greater than or equal to 0, yes, 10 is greater than 0. P is equal to P plus 1. P is equal to P plus 1. So, P already 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Now, again, you are going into the loop. What is the next value of I? Minus 21. Again, come here. If I is greater than or equal to 0, no. 20, minus 21. It is less than 0. That means, you are coming to the L spot. N is equal to N plus 1. So, here, it becomes 0 plus 1 becomes 1. Again, what is the next value? 4. Is 4 is greater than or equal to 0? Yes. Again, P is equal to P plus 1. This becomes 2. Again, you are going into the loop. What is the next? In the next, what is the next? Iterator element 35. Is 35 is greater than 0? Yes. Now, P is equal to P plus 1. That means 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Again, what is the next value? Minus 66. Is minus 66 is greater than 0? No. Come to the else part. Come to the else part. N is equal to N plus 1. Now, N becomes 1 plus 1. 2. Again, take the next element. Again, take the next element. 1. Is 1 greater than or equal to 0? Yes. P is equal to P plus 1. It is 4. P is equal to P plus 1. That is 4. Again, what is the next element of I? Minus 99. Minus 92. Is minus 92 is greater than 0? No. Come to the else part. N is equal to N plus 1. Now, so now, there are no elements in the list. So, you are coming out of the for loop. When you come out of the for loop, what is the final value of P? 4. That means that there are 4 number of positive numbers. What is the final value of N? 3. That means there are 3 positive numbers. Now, here I am printing the value of P and value of N. So, the number of positive positives in the given list is 4. Negative numbers in the given list is 3. This is a simple way of writing or identifying the number of positive numbers and negative numbers in the given list. And also we will see the next method how to find out the positives and negatives in the given list. Now if you see here I have wrote another method to identify the number of positive numbers, count of number of positive and negative numbers in the given list. So here I have taken the same list. Here I have taken the same list. So this is the list L. Here I am taking to indicate the number of positive I have taken P is equal to 0. Number of negatives is equal to 0. Here I have taken S is equal to 0. While S is less than or equal to less than length of list. That means length of list is equal to how many, how many are there? There are totally 7. That means S is less than 7. So here initially I have taken 0. 0 is less than 7. Yes, 0 is less than 7. Now you can come here. If L of S, L of S, what is the value of S? S is equal to 0. What is L of 0? What is the element at index 0? 10. If 10 is greater than or equal to 0, yes, P is equal to P plus 1. Now, P is equal to P plus 1. Again, again, after this statement, again this statement will be executed. S is equal to S plus 1. Now after that, you are coming to the loop. Is S is less than less than length of L? Yes. Yes. Now the S value is 1. 1 is less than 7? Yes, it is true. Now you can come here. If L of S1, that means here S yes, is equal to 1. L of 1. What is the value at index 1? It is minus 21. So minus 21 is not greater than or equal to 0. Come to the L spot. N is equal to N plus 1. It is 1. Again, after this, you come to the next statement. S is equal to S plus 1. S will become 2. Again, come here. Come into the while loop. Again, what is the value of S? 2. Is 2 is less than 7? Yes. As long as it is true, you can enter into the while loop. Now, if L of S, what is the L of S? L of 2. What is the element at index 2? It is 4. Is 4 is greater than or equal to 0? Yes. It is. Now, the value of P is 2. Now, after that, this statement will be executed. Now, S is equal to S plus 1. That is 3. Now, again, is you are going to the while loop and you are checking the condition. Is 3 is greater than, is 3 is less than 7? Yes. Again, you are coming. 
and L of S. In that case, L of 3. So, what is the element it takes? 3, 35. Is 35 is greater than 0? Yes. Again, P value will be incremented to 1. Next, S is equal to S plus 1. S value will be 4. Like that, the loop will be iterated. The loop will run for 7 times. That means there are 7 elements. Of the loop will run for 7 times. That is from index 0 to index 6. So, whenever x value becomes 7, 7 is not less than 7. So, you will come out of the loop and you are printing the elements. You are printing the items. So, here positive numbers are 4 and negative numbers are 3. So, this is another way of four. Printing, uh, you are counting the number of positives and negatives uh, with the help of uh, while loop. Similarly, by using list comprehensions also, we can do the job. Suppose here you just take uh, the list L1. Here I have taken the list L. Here I have taken the list L. Now I am creating list L1 with the list comprehension. Here, here I am using num for num in l num in l num in l if num greater than or equal to num greater than or equal to 0 num greater than or equal to 0 now num greater than equal to 0. Suppose, if you print L1, if you print L1, how many values are printed? Only positive values are printed. You just see here, just a simple logic. Here I have used the list comprehension num for num in L. That means, uh, you are taking the elements from L and you are checking if that number is greater than equal to 0. If, this, if it is true, then you are adding that element to the list. So first value is 10. 10 is greater than 10 is greater than num. Here the first value of num is 10. 10 is greater than 0. Greater than equal to 0. So that it becomes true. This num value will be added to the list. Again the next value is 21. Minus 21 is not greater than. It, will, it won't be accepted. Again 4. 4 is greater than equal to 0. So, that value will be added here. Again, 35. 35 is greater than 0. This value will be added here. So, like that, with the positive values, I have created a list with the help of list comprehension. Now, if you want to print L1, only positive values are printed. Only positive values are printed. Now, now with this, now you know how many positive values are there. Suppose, if you know, if you print uh, length of L1, what is the meaning of it? What is the meaning of length of L1? The number of positive numbers. The number of positive numbers. With this, here I am storing the length n is equal to n is equal to length of here n is equal to length of or, or you can call or you can do like this with simple here I am directly I am printing directly I am printing directly I am printing positive here I am printing Positive numbers, positive numbers is equal to length of L, length of L1, length of L1 give, will give you positive numbers, positive numbers. Now, I am printing negative numbers in the given list, negative length of, what is, our, what is my original, original length, original list? L. See here, length of L minus length of L1. That means uh, total number of elements minus total number of positive numbers will give you total number of negative numbers. So, in this way, you can see you have printed. Simply, I have taken a list. By using list comprehension, I have filtered only the positive numbers. Now, if you print the length of L1, it gives the positive numbers count as 4. See, if you subtract, the total length is 7. And if you subtract the positive numbers count 4, then you will get the negative numbers count. So, here, this is the negative number count. So, this is also a simplest way of finding 
the number of positive numbers and number of negative numbers in the given list. I hope you are all understanding my video. I am trying to give more explanation for your understanding point of view. I don't want to make the video simple manner. I want to make the videos in simple manner with complete explanation so that everybody can understand. So another way of uh, writing the program to count the number of positive and negative numbers in the given list is by using filter and uh, lambda function. Filter and lambda function. Suppose if you see here, this is my this is my list. This is my list. Here I want to count uh, the negative numbers. How I am counting? Length of list of filter lambda x colon x less than 0 list 1. Here in the lambda function, here I am writing an expression and I am taking a iterator sequence. So what is sequence here? This is the list is the sequence. So now you have taken the first value of x. What is the value of x? 10. Is 10 is less than 0? Yes. x is less than 0? Yes. That means it becomes true. If it is true, filter will take the, it will cancel that value and that value will be added to the list. So now the 10 value is added. What is the next value? No, no. Here uh, 10 is not less than 0. So that, will, that won't be considered. That won't be considered. Here what is the next value of x? The next value of x is minus 21. Is minus 21 is less than 0? Yes. This is true. If it is true, that value will be considered by this uh, filter function. If it is true only, it will be considered. Now that will be added to the list. That is minus 20. 5 is added. What is the next one? What is the next value of x from the list? Minus 4. Is minus 4 is less than 0? Yes. It is true. So if it is true, then it will be added to the list. It will add. That means initially minus 21 is added. Now minus 4 is added. Again, what is the next value of x? x value is 45. Is 45 is less than 0? No. It won't be considered. Why? Because it returns false. What is the next value of x? It is 66. It won't be considered. Why? It is not less than 0. 93. It won't be considered. What is the next value of x? Minus 11. Is minus 11 is less than 0? Yes. It is. Its value is true. If it is true, then it filters. Then minus 11 is added. Like that. Now on this list, you are applied the length function. On this list, you are applying the length function. Now negative count is equal to 3. Now the value of negative count is equal to 3. Similarly, for the positive count, length of list of filter of lambda function x colon. Here I am taking, here I am taking x greater than or equal to 0. So for each value of x, this condition will be checked. If the condition is true, then only that element will be considered and it will be added to the list. So finally, after, add, after, after checking all the elements, positive elements, now you are checking the length of the positive. Now finally, the positive numbers you are printing, the negative numbers you are printing. Positive numbers and negative numbers. If we execute this code, then you are getting the number of positive numbers in the list is 4 and the negative numbers in the list is 3. Okay? So here I have explained different ways of counting the positive and negative numbers in the given list. Hope you are all understanding. So if you know more number of explanations and more number of examples on a single problem, so that you can you can you can you can come to the conclusion that you can solve a single problem in different ways. So whichever is best, you can you can select. So. Uh, simply listening the video is not enough you have to practice it so that it will be more useful for your software industry job purpose so if you really like my videos please subscribe learn with like any please subscribe like it share it comment it so that it gives more support and more energy for us to build up to create more number of quality videos for your purpose so please don't forget to subscribe our channel learn with lakrani and please share the information to your community to your contacts so that so many people will be benefited
in future we will solve so many problems thank you thank you for watching my video i am prasanna kumar lakneni thank you